So I trained an AI model to balance a pole in a moving cart. And today I'm going to be showing you exactly how I did that. So let's go. Hey, my name is Tasif Kamal. I'm an 18 year old AI developer. Welcome to my first YouTube video. I'm super excited to be sharing with you guys my journey towards learning AI. So for my first project, I trained an AI model to balance a pole in a moving cart through something called reinforcement learning. And honestly, it took me way longer than expected. This project is considered to be pretty simple, but it took me around like 30 hours to fully complete it. Yeah. Honestly, the math behind RL is pretty difficult and me being me, like my biggest pet peeve is actually trusting a uh, trusting an equation and putting blind faith in it i do not like doing that so i really had to first derive the equations by myself understand all of this and then finally put it together to make a project that's fully functional that includes the math inside the code before that i really didn't want to delve into creating complicated projects which i will be able to barely explain so i really understood the math first even though it's fully not ingrained into my head yet because it's still like really, really complicated. I got enough knowledge in order to build this project together from scratch. Also another thing, um, when it comes to learning anything, whether it be projects, math, English, art, I don't know, whatever actually, the biggest barrier is actually getting over that learning curve because the learning curve is hard, but once you're over it, you might just end up finding a new passion. So if you guys are learning something new or learning a new skill, be patient with yourself, work at it. And once you're over that learning curve, it's going to feel amazing. And you might just end up finding a new passion for yourself too. Anyways, don't want to keep blabbering on. Um, let's get right into the code. So for our project, we're going to be leveraging OpenAI Gym's beautiful environment, um, Cartful version one. And essentially, this is just a game that's consisting of a cart and a pole. And as you can see in the beginning, the game has absolutely no idea what it's doing because it's essentially just taking random actions. But once we actually start to code out the reinforcement learning algorithm, you can start to see that the game actually starts to learn how to balance the pole itself and this is all the ai doing it like there's no human interaction the ai is learned how to balance the pole given a reward and punishment system and essentially this reward and punishment mechanism is exactly what the reinforcement learning algorithm is Think of just yelling at the AI when it does something stupid and giving it a pat on the back when it does something good. And do this enough number of times, the AI will actually be able to learn over time and understand which actions it should take to keep the cart and the pole balanced while it's moving. So it's essentially just like a baby learning to walk. At first, it's going to fall really not know what to do and then after a lot of times getting back up falling again and getting back up again it learns to walk and that's exactly what happens to our agent our algorithm after a lot of trial and error exploration and getting a reward of plus one when it does something good it will be able to actually optimize for those plus ones which means to stay upright and balance itself and after around a 500 and thousand episodes it starts to properly take the right actions and be able to balance itself and the specific rl algorithm that we'll be using is called deep q learning and i don't want to go too deep into this video because um, it's going to become very detailed and boring but i will be writing an article where i'll be explaining exactly how this deep cue learning algorithm works step by step to implement it into this card pull balancing problem. So once we quote out our algorithm and actually start to run it, we can see our AI start taking its actions right away. But in the beginning, it's still going to be really bad because it has only done about like two or three episodes, right? So it needs this, this reward and punishment system needs to take place for around 500 to 1000 episodes to really start to see a difference in our AI making the poll balance itself. So let's wait for a bit and let the AI do the work. So 
So after around 600 episodes, um, you can see the AI is actually starting to kind of get the hang of this. It's balancing a bit, it's still not the best though, it's still falling for quite a bit, but it is much better than it was in the zeroth episode. So after around a thousand episodes, the AI actually has gotten pretty good at balancing the pole. It's not really falling over anymore and it's pretty stable. So we did it. 